Hey there! This is a demo of some cool ways to use the Hypno with Max. This is not going to be an all-inclusive tutorial because the possibilities are limitless, my Max chops are a little rusty, and my computer's a bit shit, as you'll see by all the dropped frames. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. In this video, I mostly use Vizi and VSynth objects. Vizi is a collection of awesome Max objects that are great for video effects. They're included automatically with Max. VSynth, on the other hand, is a collection of great video synthesis tools available via the Max Package Manager. I typically find myself using Vizi more for effects and VSynth more for video synthesis, but there's a lot of overlap. There are two main ways to get the Hypnos video output into Max. I could plug a USB from the Hypnos front USB port into my computer and use NDI, but I want to save that front USB port for video input later in the video. So I'll just take a normal HDMI cable, plug it into the HDMI output of the Hypno, and then I'll plug that HDMI cable into a generic video capture card. That plugs into my computer via USB, and then I simply power up the Hypno. My computer will see the Hypno just as if it was a webcam. Okay, so now we have the Hypno plugged into my computer, and I'm processing that signal globally with a collection of Vizi objects. This is a very simple kind of processing scheme. I have the raw video input of the Hypno coming in via this grabber object. That goes into this crossfader into video input one. Then I have these two Vizi effect objects in green which also go into that crossfader object into video input 2. That way I could fade between the raw signal and the affected signal and kind of combine both of them. So here we go. This is now a mix of the raw and affected signals. And there's a lot of different mixed modes you could play with here, which is very cool. So now we're getting towards 100% affected signal. The effects chain is very simple. Um, this slider object basically just smooths and blurs everything out. Here with it off you can see the image is a lot more defined but also a lot more jagged and even a little jumpy. And then we have this edge detection algorithm. If you turn that off you can see the original image. Here I am playing around with some settings both in Max and on the Hypno. I'm swiping through colors on the Hypno. I turned up the polarization on oscillator A so that the uh, lines become more circular. Of course, they're not perfectly circular because they're being frequency modulated by oscillator B. Um, now I'm just going to kind of blur it all to hell and uh, see where that goes. I actually spent a lot of time just messing with simple and complex patches and even just affecting the Hypno globally like this is super satisfying. Now that we've processed the Hypno's video output, let's put some visuals into the Hypno for Max. This is very similar connection-wise. I just use an HDMI cable like before. I plug that into the HDMI output of my laptop. Again, I use a generic USB capture card that I plug into the end of the HDMI. The only difference here is that to get into the front USB input of the Hypno, I need a female USB-A to male micro USB cable. And I just plug that into the front of the Hypno. And now I have video going from my laptop into the Hypno. You can now see oscillator A light up in light blue to indicate that video input is working. Back in Max, I'm using vSynth to create this simple triangle object. That goes to a separate window via the vSynth render and corner pins objects. Because I'm effectively using the Hypno as a separate monitor, I can drag this window over to the Hypno and then hit the full screen button on the vSynth render object to have the triangle show across the entire Hypno image. Here I am turning the feedback of the Hypno all the way up and then playing with the shape in vSynth for some cool rainbow fun. 
Now that we've used Max to process the Hypno's video output and injected a new shape into the Hypno using vSynth, what does it look like if we do both at the same time? Here's a patch where I take that simple triangle shape and inject it into the Hypno and then take the final Hypno visual and process it with some vSynth and some Visi objects. It's a combination of objects we've seen previously in the video and some new objects. Before I go, I want to make a quick note on controlling the Hypno from Max. The Hypno is a MIDI host. This is great because it means you can plug a synth directly into it and control Hypno visuals from that synth, just like last month's OPZ tutorial. Since the Hypno basically acts like a computer as far as MIDI is concerned, the downside is you cannot control the Hypno via MIDI from another connected computer. The best way to control Hypno from Max right now may be to use an expert sleepers module or similar device to turn audio signals in Max into control voltages for the outside world. Otherwise, you could also modulate the shapes and effects we saw today inside of Max. Both Visi and vSynth have a number of audio to control objects, and Max's MIDI implementation gets better and better with each update. Well, that's all. I hope you enjoy my examples. I've shared links to download my patches in the description below, as well as links to tutorials for both Visi and vSynth. Share what you're doing with the Hypno and Max and even Max for Live. Most importantly, get some sleep.